Our priority as conservatives is our family or our job or just our personal time, not government. Today, we're checking out Charles Kirk. We must retrain conservatives to defeat the left. Guys, let's get straight into this. So, uh, speaking about uh, USSR, former, uh, former communist bloc, I lived half my life there. Wow. Not in the USSR, in Romania, Eastern Communist Bloc. Yeah. I tend to be practical for those reasons because I lived in a communist country. So, uh, one of the things that scares me about the conservative circles, um, I don't know if anyone notices it, uh, they're 100% intellectual. That's it. They write books, they give tours, they speak. I see the real problem, our inability as conservatives to look at each other, to cooperate, to create our own structures, to do stuff like that. It's a good point. Now, I love what you do. You're the best of the best. Dinesh, I love all these people. You guys are great. We need yeah. people to talk. But my question for you is, how do we move from talking and pointing to the fire yeah. to, to a place where we actually have an organization we can pass well, a bucket? You know, I, do the so I, I, love the, I love the spirit of the question. Yeah, um, like, it makes sense. If you allow me to tell you about a great organization called Turning Point USA, um, we have real events with real action points and real students that are doing real things. That's real infrastructure. That's not just yeah. idea circulation. That's activists that are doing things that are meaningful. And you know these young people are evidence of that. I love the spirit of your question, though. I wouldn't say it's 100% intellectual. I'd say it's mostly intellectual. I would agree with that. Because there are more and more people on the conservative side that are thinking of organizing and actually taking terrain and actually doing real things. Let me tell you why we don't do that well, because you asked that question, right? We don't do that well because our priority as conservatives is our family or our job or just our personal time, not government. Also, we tend not to be really hyper-focused on collective action. That's probably generally a good thing, right? It's kind of maybe our anti collectivist impulse. We got to cut that out. And so the best moment of that for conservatives was in the 1980s when they united against the Soviet Union, an example you know very well. But it's not an easy thing because we now have to retrain a million people to now take something more seriously than they ever have in their entire life. But people want to be comfortable. They want other people to do it for them. And that's the, that's the tension point right now. That's the friction. And so I think you've identified that correctly. Um, and we're trying to do that through an organizing standpoint every single day. Um, but I can tell you that is, uh, that is not a mentality that is as widespread as it needs to be. So I completely sympathize with that. So. Hmm. Well, what do you think about this? For me, I honestly believe that people should, there should be more conservative in like the government house. I believe the left are bringing out some laws that a lot of conservatives won't actually accept or they won't feel like, nah, this does not make sense. Like, that's just the truth. And that's how a lot of us feel when we hear some things about you seeing your children have to read some certain books. Like, it does not make sense. And I honestly believe that if there are a lot of conservatives in the government house, like, it's it's going to shake things up because I feel that a lot of them, they are more left than conservative and it's going to really backfire in the sense that they're going to be protesting and stuff. But I believe the government makes decision having the best interest of the people in mind. So I honestly believe that it won't be bad if they love conservative because I honestly believe that conservative, the idea that ideology is, it carries the best interest of the people, both the pastor and the extreme left. But it's questionable. And I feel both sides because I feel because of a conservative, I think it's good. Anybody will see it like this, but... I understand that don't be wasting this shit, but tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Leave your thoughts in the comment section so I can read and engage myself. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.